Are you thinking of moving to Edmonton? Wondering what the cost of living is? Well, in this video, I'm gonna talk about the cost of living with respect to groceries. We're gonna go over a recent grocery purchase that I had. I'm Jen McFillany with Remax River City. So let's see what I bought on my recent shopping trip. The groceries we're gonna talk about today, I got from Save On Foods here in Edmonton. In fact, this grocery store is one of my favorite places to shop at in Edmonton. I wouldn't say it's for the bargain hunter though. However, Save On Foods is a great option if you're looking to support local Canadian companies. It's probably your next best option to the farmer's market if you wanna support locals. Save On Foods also has an option where you can shop online and you can go pick it up or have it delivered. Okay, so going through the grocery list, I'm gonna start from the top and go to the bottom. First two items on here, Ooh, yes, stickers. I uh, don't normally buy stickers, but these were super cute and they're for my nieces. What kids wouldn't like trolls and Paw Patrol stickers? Anyway, they were $4.99 each. Probably is expensive. On to the food items. So the bananas are $1.74 per kilogram. And for the whole bunch, it costs $2.10. That seems cheap. Moving on to Black Forest ham. We do like to have ham sandwiches because we're very busy and they're easy to make on the go. Ooh, this seems expensive. So I bought two packages, the family size packages. They're $13.99 each for a total of $27.98. Well, I guess we do get a lot of meals out of it. Then we have Cracker Barrel Medium Cheddar Cheese. Normally this big block of cheese is $16.99. We saved $6 and got it for $10.99. How did we do that? We have a Save On More card. They're free to sign up and you can collect points. And you can use those points to buy stuff, like travel. We're already at like over 500,000 points. One time we got, with 75,000 points, we got $200 off groceries. The chicken breast came in at $13. Normally I opt for the organic one, but for the sake of this video, I just went with the regular ones where they don't give antibiotics to the chickens. And so, $13. Ooh. Ooh, Dempster whole wheat bread. We need this for our ham sandwiches. One loaf was $4.99. Is that expensive? Granny Smith apples this is one of London's favorites. I actually don't really like Granny Smith's. So we only got four of them. $5.49 per kilogram for a total of $3.87. Clearly bananas are the way to go. They're so much cheaper. A long English cucumber, great for salads. $2.79 for one. Naval oranges, those are one of my favorites. We got four of them. They're the same price as the Granny Smiths. $5.49 per kilogram for a total of $6.23. Wait, what? Why is that higher? I guess navel oranges, Way more than apples, clearly. Red cherry tomatoes, also great for salads. This one package came in at $3.99. Not sure if that's expensive. Simply orange orange juice with no sugar added. Regularly, it's $4.99, but because of my Save On More cart, I saved 20 cents. So we got it for $4.79. So you have to pay a deposit and a recycle fee. The deposit fee was 25 cents and the recycle fee is seven cents. If you were to take this bottle back, to the bottle depot, you would get your 25 cents back. The spring mix, what's sold without the lettuce? $4.69. Seems about what I normally pay. Sugar twin, stevia. Yes, I add sweetener to my black coffee and tea. It's not that cheap. $7.69. Top sirloin steak, triple A. Just a little bit more pricey than the ham. $29.03. One dozen organic eggs, $6.99. Seems high. I think eggs used to be like five bucks. Maybe it's because they're organic. And last but not least, one package of extra lean ground beef, $9.12. What I can tell is if you are a vegetarian, you probably spend a lot less money on groceries. The meat items seem to be the most expensive. So the total for this grocery trip was $150.24. My total savings was $6.20. Earned another 2,428 points. Now I'm at 
288 points. Where am I gonna fly to next? Anyway, since I'm pretty much clueless what groceries cost in other places, please comment below and tell me if you found this to be expensive or cheaper or about the same to where you live. If you enjoyed this video, please click that like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Kids love stickers and who doesn't love? All kids love stickers. No, no kisses, no barking, no barking.